their community is shaken up by the officer shooting, but especially those living within the perimeter. Multiple families are stuck. They can come out, but they cannot get back into the area. So many have chosen to stay in their homes today. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop talked with neighbors about what they experienced last night. I can't even describe it. Just, it's unreal that this happened, like, just down a couple of houses from us. One gunshot, and then all of a sudden three, and I got up and opened the door because I wasn't sure if it was the TV, but I opened the door, it was rifle shots, like deer, deer hunting season when you're hunting. Sue and Crystal are neighbors and say they heard more than 30 gunshots last night. The alley in which Mosier was shot is just behind their homes. And then all of a sudden we heard, officer down, officer down. We heard it twice. We saw the SWAT truck come in and pull up and then turn around. And I think that's when they were trying to save Officer Mosier. Crystal says she saw officers surround the home wearing masks and using tear gas. And there were people running in front of the house and sitting in the bushes. They were running all over our area. Sue says she took cover and that three officers stopped by her home to check on her family. And they just wanted to make sure that everybody was safe in our neighborhood. She said that she is so grateful for Fargo police responding and in shock that one was shot. I feel so sorry for his family because he was protecting and serving us. Sue says her husband did leave their home this morning and she is not sure if he will be able to return home. Crystal was told that the area may be blocked off today and tomorrow. In Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live.